We know how to occupy ourselves. With ourselves. And we'd like to share that with you. Welcome to the show, everybody. Thanks for joining us this Sunday. Uh, if it is Sunday when you're watching this, thanks for joining Brandon, Mason, and Colin. Um, we uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, let's see, this week they, um, we're playing some games. Like at restaurants for waiting, or um, just around the house if there's nothing really to do, because, you know, stuff gets boring really fast, but these games don't. And um, I'm sure you guys will recognize a few of them. Maybe you won't recognize them all. But, um, yeah, so we got quite a bit of different the hand games, and so uh, we're just going to go through them and demonstrate them, because we think they're pretty cool. So first on the list is Mercy. It's, Mercy. it's the game of strength, uh, skill, and what you do is you lock fingers, and then you got to bend the other person's fingers back. And again, first to give up is the winner. So, uh, I guess in different places they call it Uncle, uh, Peanuts, uh, Cravens, I believe. Cravens, yeah. So there's different names for it depending on, I guess, where you live. Yep. I grew up calling it Uncle or Mercy. Uh-huh. Same around here. And when they give up, you have to say Mercy. Or if you just say stop, they won't stop. You have to say Mercy, Uncle, Peanuts. So go ahead. Are give them do it? You show them, yeah. Okay. So, oh, I don't like it when you don't stand up. <gasps> okay, okay, not yet. You just gotta bend with it. <laughs> okay, Mercy. <laughs> I'm okay, ding ding, ding oh, two points for Brandon. Yay. Do you guys want to go on? Mace, you alright? Yeah. No, I'm calling you. Sc I'm a little scared. Go. Okay. What's the next one? We got Thumb Wrestling. Ooh. It's um, otherwise known as a Thumb War. Yeah. And <clears throat> was claimed to be invented in 1936. Three, three. By Julian Coding. Coding. And there's also a bunny Coding. hole. Something. There's a, there, beat me. There's a bunny hole where you can put your thumb in your hand and they can't get you. No. Um, but <laughs> otherwise, it's uh, when two what players lock their hands and they're trying to pin each other's thumb down. The game is... Um, one, what, two, three, it's um, four, initiated five, when one player three, says... What is it? One. Wait, it's not over. One, one two, two, three, three four, four. I, I declare a thumb war. Gate. And then there's five, six, seven, eight. You are stupid and I'm great. Uh, five, six, one, seven, two, eight. One, two, three. Ooh, it like uh, There's like tons of them, guys. But uh, we got tennis, sure. too. Um, it's hand tennis, guys. It's not the one with the racket. Uh, yeah, and is, what it is, is you is, this hold this each is, other's hands, is. and you take turns slapping back and forth. On their hands, as Mason Connor demonstrating now, um, and the what you find is the other person's or both of your hands turn yeah. red, guys, and um, I won. And whoever oh. stops first is the loser, of course. Oh. How are these games, guys? Do they hurt? Yes, yes, yes. They all have to do with so hurting. Um, so yeah, that was tennis. We got hand slap game. Oh. Let us know in the comments if you guys have ever played this game. If you're a boy, if you play this game, or do girls play these games? Because I, I don't, we don't have any here, so we don't know that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm not really sure. Okay, I'm gonna. And then we got the hand slap game, which is also known as red hands, hot hands, and slap check. No, second this one, do it too. Second mission. This is a two-player game. One player or the no, slappy. Places their hands oh, palm down, down covering yeah. above the other player's okay. slapper's hands. The other player hovers their hands over, and they try to turn them oh, yeah, and okay. slap their hands. You can go like this. You can go like this. You can go dull hands. And if they move, if they go for this one, and you move this one, you're out. Oh, yeah. Right. If you move, you them only before, can move one. If you move them before they try to slap them, then you're out. So uh, we can demonstrate here. No, I want. I, I want you to do it. Did I get you? You didn't even done? try. You, 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 oh, you yeah. I won. Okay, guys. Oh, um, so, yeah, that's the slap oh. game. Again, f uh, feel free to comment if you've played this game or if you like this game. Um, and then we got chopsticks on the next this one. This one I don't quite get. It's also, it's also called finger sword, finger swords or cherries and bananas. 
Yeah. Um, which, I don't get that. No, it's for two players in which they start by having one hand with one finger, or two hands with one finger on each, and uh, if you tap them, then they get two, and then for, when you get five, then that hand is out. And so it's like, so two. now I have two because he touched me, and then if I can like go like this, now I have three, none, and I tap this one, four, there's four, and then I have two because I got five. Yeah, you have to put that out. Oh, there you go. That's five. Okay. It's two. So, you guys, so it's pretty, it's not time consuming, but it's a good way to, um. Brandon, this one's out. I just lost. Yesterday, I played. What is that? Friends were playing a game. Just a good way to pass recess, time. And I was playing while oh, watching with my. I won, I won. Okay, uh, next on the list is Bloody Knuckles. Mm. It's when you have you your hands punch. and you take, and you just keep punching each other's knuckles. And then uh, whoever's bleed first or whoever gives up first Dude, will be the loser. I want to But play. no one's a loser. Can I play Cola no first? <laughs> I give up. Do you give up? I win! Nice. I want to play Cola. Then uh, you want to play? I'll play Cola. <laughs> Hey, so what's the hit me? Ow! Ow! He said it's my turn! He said it's my turn! No, you don't! Okay. What are you doing? I don't know! I give up! You have to actually hit me! I give what? up! No! I give up. I don't like that one. I do. I okay. like Don Russell in the back so far. We got a. Uh, Finger jousting, which is again just like arm wrestling, it is an actual league. It's um, I can't. It's not. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember what it's actually called. But uh, some people think it was an agent or the agent um, Israelites, ancient Israelites that ancient. created the, created this. Um, twelve hundred yeah. BC, the f first documentation of this game being played. So it's yeah, pretty second. old. Yeah. So, um, and it consists of two people holding each other's hands, trying to, uh, point each other with their finger. Of course, you can't touch the arm that you're holding on to, because that would not be fair. So, uh, here they are right now, just playing. For me and you want to play So, as you can see, they're sticking out their fingers, trying to touch any part of their body, but the arm they're holding the arm. <laughs> Can I? Yeah. So let's see, maybe Colin. It's pretty funny actually when they play. Oh, look at the little. Look at the. Oh. Those smash yourselves. It's not tennis. Tennis joking. Ooh. Oh, you just got him. What? Oh, you want to play? Okay. Wait. Mason, what's the next one? The circle arm punching game. Ah, uh -huh. Mason just. <laughs> Mason looked at it. <laughs> it's when you make an OK sign. The circle. Circle must be below waist. Here, uh -huh. the circle must be below your waist. Through, throw a circle at your body. Ow, Mace. Ow. Oh my gosh. So uh, what it is is oh, Brandon, 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 look at it. So what it is, you have a circle Brandon. like this, Shoot. like the uh, okay sign, cookie okay, sign, Brandon. whatever you guys want to call it. It has to be below your waist. It has to be below, below your waist, so it's like right here. Oh, you guys all just Brandon. look, so. Okay. Brandon, Colin got me here. So that's what, come on, dang it. Ah. What up? <laughs> and so that's what it is. You make this sign, and then you put it below your waist. If people look at it, then you hit them in the arm. Um, usually if they admit they looked at it, you don't hit them quite as hard. But if they lie, but you know you, they saw it, you whap them. <laughs> Go full in. So the next one, and the last one, oh, sadly, I got guys, it. is, um, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Also known as Rochambeau, or Ick, Ack, Ock, I believe. Um, so this is probably one that you guys all know of. It's a childhood game. But it's, uh, usually play with two people, and it's awesome shooting a method. Uh, it's to decide who goes first or something. Yeah, schools usually use it 
as a nice way of it's pretty much flipping or drawing like a straw flipping a coin drawing straw and um there's many versions actually and in a then the malaysian version of the game scissors is replaced by bird represented the two fingertips of five fingers brought together in the form of a beak so it must be like I don't know. Quack, quack, um, quack, and then, quack, quack. yeah, so there's just pretty much different. Bird beats it's water by drinking it, and then stone beats bird by hitting it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, and stone loses to water because it sinks in it. That makes sense. And um, starting in 2002, actually, the World Rock, Paper, Scissors Society standardized a set of rules by international play and is overseen annually international world championships winners get 50 grand yeah that's right for, for playing rock paper scissors you get 50 grand Let's just play rock paper what? scissors guys we can earn some money <laughs> sadly it's, it's not mostly like strategy yeah. well it's mostly just luck yeah it's one of the most random games rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! Okay, the two out of three rock paper scissors shoot rock paper scissors shoot Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, no! You lose! Dad? I, I already no, did. I, 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 I already won lost. Dad. I beat so Dad. So it's you two now. I challenge you for the mega game of Rock, Paper, Scissors. <laughs> what else we got on that list? Um, that's that was it. the end. Oh, that was it? Uh, that was it. Mega challenge. We went through all of them? Sadly, that was it. Dad, now losers. We're so, uh, losers. So guys, just remember... Let's play this. Uh, uh, so just remember, geez, guys, what? comment of what your favorite game is. And um, if we missed any, actually. Ready? <laughs> ah, Brand's a champion. And so just remember, guys, comment, please. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Um, yeah, we have a lot of fun doing this, so. Yeah, let us, really help us out. let us know if you guys play these games. Let us know if you guys um, have any other games that we might have missed that we didn't play today. So if you guys want one of these epic BMC bracelets, uh, give us your information and we will send you one. Yeah, or more. Or more. That one's wore down this. <clears throat> it's the real deal. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, um, thanks a lot, guys, for watching and tune in every Sunday. So this past week at the Yin Yang Wheel, we shot a good deed. And uh, I think every episode we've shot a good deed on it. Yes. But uh, la this past week, what I did was is I was coming through an intersection and I put a wallet in the middle of the road. And what I did is I, I pulled up into the parking lot of a gas station and I went through it a little bit to find out whose it was. I put it in the GPS and I was on my way to return the wallet. Good deed, you know? What happened was, is as we're on our way, we're less than four minutes to this person's house. <clears throat> I got pulled over by the police and uh, they approached the vehicle and they asked me if I had found a wallet. Apparently somebody saw, apparently somebody saw me pick up the wallet and called the police. They, they ended up taking the wallet and returning it to its owner, or I think they, they called and she wasn't home, so they she had to go pick it up at the police station. Kind of stole my thunder as far as our good deed. So that was my uh, good deed story for last week. Yeah. Um, Mason, do you want to grab the Nerf gun and we can spin I the want a baggie. Yang Yang Is it wheel? Really? We're shooting for a trick this week, man. Um, yeah, really. We got one in store for you. No! Not a good deed. I think this thing is like half. It might be rigged. We might have to can modify we just edit the good. It? Can we, we like edit it? <laughs> can we just edit it? So uh, tune in next week, you guys. Well, thanks for watching and tune in next Sunday. There you go. And yeah, uh, we'll tune in next week to see what we do for a good deed. And uh, we're gonna have to modify this wheel or something because maybe we need more more black on it. More black. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next Sunday for another episode. Again, thanks for watching. Oh, hey, Brandon. Yes. Look. Oh, uh, oh, oh, hey. Look, hey. Oh, how do you love Oh, look. Brandon, the pain. Yeah, Goodbye, guys. Brandon, the pain. Brandon, the pain on my kneecap. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war.